China and the Solomon Islands have linked a security pact, the language of which is not public, although there was a leaked version that was released before it was finalized. It seems to give Chinese security forces access to the Solomons upon the request of the Solomon Island government to keep the peace, help restore order. It also gives China the right to access facilities, naval facilities or port facilities in the Solomons for resupply, replenishment, logistics, which is the part that I think has a lot of Westerners and Australians concerned. Why does China need naval access to the Solomons? We've seen expansive language in what the logistical arrangement would be allowing for Chinese naval vessels to come in. Now that sounds an awful lot like a military base by another name. They deny that China is interested in establishing a military base there. They are trying to portray this as just business as usual, China not being in any way more aggressive, more assertive, or having any additional ambitions in the region. There's plenty of reasons to expect that this logistic access part could well evolve into something like what China has in Djibouti, for instance, where for years China insisted that the Djibouti access agreement was just a little minor logistics access agreement, and then all of a sudden China had its first overseas naval base. In terms of how China operates, it does tend to take whatever opportunity it sees. So even though the agreements might be different now, that doesn't mean that China's interest uh, is different or that China doesn't have an interest in establishing a military facility there. This fits a larger pattern of what China is doing not only uh, in the region but around the world. We've seen this in the South China Sea where they denied that they were not only building up but militarizing those islands. We've seen them do it in Djibouti. And now all of a sudden we see this in the South Pacific. So I think the concern here is that China is going to do to the South Pacific what it has already done to the South China Sea. A major benefit of China having a military base there is that if the United States needs to flow forces to the region, particularly to East Asia, it would require going through the Pacific. And depending on if China is successful, it could offer China ability to potentially disrupt or undermine U.S. force flow. A key issue that China also takes into account is Taiwan. About a third of Taiwan's remaining diplomatic partners are in the Pacific. So having a military base there would allow China to be able to threaten course influence Taiwan's remaining diplomatic partners to potentially switch sides and not recognize Taiwan. We've heard large amounts of concern from New Zealand, from Australia, and from the United States that they are worried that this sets a troubling precedent and drags this part of the world into a conflict that it need not be a part of. So Guevara has mostly reacted with anger, arguing the Solomons is a sovereign nation. It can have whatever relationship it wants with whatever partner it wants. And that is true. The problem is that the Solomons does not exist in the region by itself. Its other smaller Pacific Island neighbors have raised serious concerns about this, about it being destabilizing, about it making the Pacific more of a target for great power rivalry. So this is a moment for Australia, for the United States to have a fair amount of humility in what we're able to accomplish and rethink what are the strategies that are most likely to meet the demands of the region in the long term and also be able to contend with a Chinese government that's working to influence, shape, and shift the politics of the region. <laughs>